Hello again, I'm Lost. Welcome back to Love for Beginners. Today we're going to show you how to print Hello World in the console and on the screen. So we're going to start with the console. So what we first need to do is simply write print, which is a function and it takes the argument of a string, Hello World. We should be able to save that. And if we click play here, nothing will happen because when it prints, the print function actually prints to the console. And unfortunately within Atom, there isn't a console attached when you press run love app. Hopefully one day they'll fix that. I don't know if it's possible within Atom. What we're going to do, navigate to our folder that our project exists in. And what I'm actually gonna do is gonna drag this into favorites so I can stop navigating through. We're gonna shift right click and open our command window here. I'm gonna type love dot with any luck, it will have printed to the console. It didn't. Why is that? Because the console isn't enabled by default. We actually need to put that within conf.lua. So let's do that. We're gonna go to love.conf. We're gonna say t.console equals true is actually what we want. <laughs> So I'm actually thinking love.conf. Let me just double check the syntax on that one. No, actually, let's do that on camera. We'll pop into the wiki and we'll have a look at that. I'm gonna cover love, uh, the config file in much greater depth in a different episode. For now, we're just gonna check the syntax here. So we're gonna pop into config files. So it's actually function love.conf and it takes the input of t as a variable. So I'm glad I checked that. Worth doing. So it's function love.conf takes the variable t. t.console equals true. And that's the end of the function. If we save that, pop back into our command prompt, press up to go back to the previously entered command. And what do we see? Hello world, there you go. You've printed hello world to the console. Um, so that's the first successful hello world. Now you'll notice it hasn't reverted to the normal C yada yada yada. You can just press control C um, and that actually properly closes the process we had before. Command prompt now realizes it's closed. You don't need to do that. So I'll run through again. We'll close it here. We can actually press up again and run love. It'll all work just the same. If you want it to be tidy, you can control C and that'll make everything look nice and normal. So that's hello world in the console. With that section over, we can close the console because we're actually gonna stick to uh, Adam now. So that's printing that. We don't need that anymore. Instead, we're going to be drawing it on screen. So we're gonna need what's called a callback. And a callback basically sends information to the love game engine, which is love.exe, and tells it to do stuff. And that's basically all you do as a programmer within love. You tell the game engine to do things and you tell it with commands in Lua. And then it reads those commands in Lua, translates them to uh, information that the game engine can read and understand, and then it does things like listens for key presses, mouse movement. Um, I think it can listen to microphones. It can definitely listen to joysticks. It has networking capabilities, so it can listen to the network. And it performs all of its internal logic. And then it has its outputs as well. It outputs to the screen. It can output to your speakers. And it can output through the network. So the, the callback we're going to use today is draw. And we're basically telling the game engine what it should be drawing. So if we type love.draw and hit enter, and we are going to tell it to do a print function on screen. So the print function on screen actually exists within the graphics library, which is love.graphics. And you can see that comes up at the top. You can hit enter, dot print. We can hit enter again. So it says logging by default. That's just part of whichever plugin this is. Sorry. Um, and we're gonna say hello world. 
So that's all well and good. The problem here is uh, we're not going to be able to see that. And I'll show you why. The default is a black background. So I'm going to first show you how to change the background color. And we want to put that, uh, we actually want that to happen only once. And we want it to happen before anything else happens. So if you want something to happen first and once, you put it into the load callback. So if we type love.load, and we put, and to actually know which functions you want to use, you need to probably study the wiki. Now I've already spent a lot of time around it, so I know that in love.graphics, as it loads, I know that I'm looking for, in the graphics state, set background color. And we can see here that it takes three arguments, red, green, and blue. So all we're going to do is set the background color to white. So we should be able to go love.graphics.set capital B down to background color. And it says RGBA here. Um, I'm going to have to blame the package developer for love IDE for that, I'm thinking. Um, it's a simple mistake and it doesn't particularly matter. I don't know if we would error if we put it in an alpha channel. We're just going to type 255, 255, 255. So now if we save that and run it, uh, for some reason we can't see the graphics printing hello world. Why is that? Ah, love load doesn't take an argument. Again, that's an issue there. That's not the problem though. Love.draw also doesn't take anything. Love graphics print hello world. Maybe we need to set the color. Let's try that. Love.graphics.set color. And set color is actually used to set the color for numerous different uh, graphics and print and draw functions. So we're going to do 0, 0, 0, and we're just going to ignore the alpha channel because that defaults to the maximum alpha, which is full visibility. Alpha of 0 is total transparency. Alpha of 255 is totally visible. So if we save that and run that, there we go. Now we can see Hello World is printing here. Now there's one other place we can put Hello World, and I'm just going to show you that as well. Uh, up where it says untitled, we can change that to hello world for whatever reason. Totally not necessary, but we'll do it anyway. t.title equals the string hello world. We save that and run it. We now have hello world and hello world. Very good. The final cherry on top of the cake is if we do love dot here, we should see hello world in three different places. One, two. And, oh wait, I removed it from here. <laughs> I removed it from love.load. Um, but that's it. That's the Hello World episode. Thanks for watching.